Hey guys, so today I'm doing a makeup look with this Ulta Beauty Box kit thing that I got from Ulta, I think at the beginning of January. And let me just show you again what's inside if you haven't seen my Ulta video. Okay, so on the top rows we have the setting powders, the bronzers, the blushes, and the highlighters. This row, we have all the eye products, the eyeshadows, the eye bases, the eye toppers, and the brow, brow creams. And on the bottom, uh, on the bottom, there is the primer, some brushes, some um, eyeliners, and the lipsticks. So, there's only a few products that aren't in this kit that I need to create a look with. So, let's jump into this look. Okay, so first, what's not in here is moisturizer. So, I'm going to actually try this. I haven't used this yet. This is one of the samples that I got from one of my sample videos. This is EXO or EXO, I don't know how to pronounce that. EXO Face. Bio Digital Perfection Moisturizer. So let's open that up. And this is hydrating and anti aging. So the next product is the primer, and that is in this kit. So this is Poreless Face Primer, Mineral Oil Free, Paraben Free. So this is supposed to smooth and refine pores. There's like not much in here at all. So this is clear. It kind of reminds me of the Smashbox. And that's what it looks like. Yeah, it looks like that Smashbox photo finish. Feels like that too. It's very like, actually no. It doesn't feel like that. The, Smash, the Smashbox photo finish is more silicone-y feeling than this is. This is, I don't know, this has more of a greasy feeling than silicone. It doesn't feel bad though. Okay, so next I'm going to prime my eyes. And they actually have an eye primer in here. Right here it says nude matte eyeshadow base and that's what I'm going to use and I'm actually going to use the eye brush they gave just to paint it on Then I'm going to do the other eye. So I think I'm going to go for a purple look today. Here's all the colors. So I'm actually going to start with this light brown right here as a transition color. Just to put like a base down. And I'm going to use my Luxie 239 Pre Precision Shader Brush. Then I'm going to use this purple right here for the outer corner and then I'm going to work my way in with that.
And I think I'm gonna take this shade right here and put that on my outer corner. Then I'm gonna take my Thera blending brush and I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit. Then I'm gonna use my Firma 204 brush and I'm gonna take this pinky purpley color right here and I'm going to put that on my lid. Then I'm going to take this topper right here, and this is, what is that called? Lilac Glitter Top Coat, and I'm just going to stick that right up here. Oh my gosh. So. I didn't realize I wasn't recording. I thought I was recording. Apparently I wasn't. So I've already started applying this. Um, I'm just kind of tapping this on top of my brush and just kind of um, smoothing it in. I've never used a mineral loose foundation before, a powder foundation. I've always used liquids. So this is kind of a learning experience. I really like the Anika brand. I have um, one of their liquid foundations and it's really good, good coverage. So hopefully this is just as nice. I have a mirror right here that I'm looking in. I mean, I don't see much of a difference, but I don't know. We'll see how it works out. So now I'm gonna do my brows and I'm gonna use this one right here. This is Taupe Brow Cream and I've never used cream brow gel before. So this is gonna be a learning experience as well. And I'm going to use the brow brush that this kit came with. And I'm going to use my mirror. Whoa. I mean, it's not horrible. It's definitely doesn't look like the right color. Let me do my brows and then I'll be back because I kind of need to look in my mirror for that. Okay, so that's kind of the best that I'm going to be able to do. Um, I used the taupe. Oh, no. And then I used the, what color is it? The medium brown on top of that to sort of darken it a little bit because the color was a little bit off. But I'm gonna use concealer to kind of, I don't know, fix them up just a little bit because they're looking kind of haggard. So find the concealer. Okay, so this I used in my last makeup video. It was, um, it was in the first impressions video and I really liked it. So I'm going to use it again because the coverage is actually really good on this. keep thinking that I'm pressing record but I'm not apparently okay so I just put on this translucent powder um, 
It's like any other translucent powder. It's not bad. So now I'm gonna finish up my eyes and I'm going to take this purple again. And I'm going to take this e.l.f. defining eye brush and I'm going to put it under my eye. I don't use bottom eyeliner anymore. I stopped doing that because it was just getting really, really harsh and it doesn't look as good. Ow. So now I'm gonna do the other eye. Now I'm gonna take this eyeliner and this is just an eyeliner pencil in black and I'm going to do the top eyeliner and I'm actually gonna do it off camera because I am really bad at doing eyeliner looking into the camera so I'll be right back. So the pencil liner didn't work at all on top of my eyes so I had to use my Ico um, smudge proof pitch black pen um, and I kind of messed up a lot <laughs> But hopefully eyelashes will salvage this, um, hopefully. So I'm going to use my Koki Lashes in FL640 and this adhesive. So I'm going to put these on and then I'll be back. So while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to add the highlight to my eye. And I think I'm going to use this right here. And I'm going to take this brush right here I got this from wish Sorry, if you see me staring off, I'm looking in my mirror. I just find it easier. I can't see as well in the camera with all this sunlight for some reason. Okay, now time for mascara. I'm going to use this Isadora Stretch Lash Mascara. And I'm gonna put it all the way down. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit under my eye. And then I'm going to put it on the bottom lashes. So for bronzer, I'm going to use this, what is it, light to medium bronzer right here. This isn't bad. It's not too dark. So for blush, I'm going to use this matte honey blush right here and I'm going to use the blush brush that came with the kit. Wow, that's really dark. Let's see if I can buff that out just a little bit. Not bad. And for highlight, I'm going to use the pink highlighter. Ooh. It's not bad. 
sorry, I'm looking in the mirror again just to kind of see what I'm doing. I made an awful mess with it though. It's very dusty. I like it. So for lips, I'm gonna try something. There's two of these. This one is a matte liquid lipstick in the color Nude and then a shiny lip gloss in the color Rose Gold Shimmer. So I'm gonna see, I'm gonna put this one on first and see what it looks like putting the gloss on top. I apologize if you can hear my dog barking. I think the mailman might be here. Okay. So there's the liquid lip. It's really pretty. Now let's see what it looks like with the gloss on top. That's pretty. I feel like it doesn't match my eyes though, but what do you guys think? Do you like this look? I think it looks nice. I'm loving the eyes with the glitter. So that is the, the Ulta Beauty Box Kit thing. I don't know what it's called, but I got from Ulta after it was like an after christmas sale so it wasn't that expensive it was like ten dollars so i think this is a really nice look for ten dollars <laughs> and it comes with a lot of stuff the only thing i needed was foundation moisturizer i needed an eyeliner because their pencil liners are good for the waterline but they're not they're not good for on top of the eye and I needed a concealer and lashes. So that was about it. But I think this came out really well. I loved pretty much everything. Nothing was bad. Like even the brow cream, it's not horrible. Um, I'm just not used to a gel brow. So it was different. But I don't think it looks bad, to be honest. Let me know what you guys think of this look or if you want to see other looks from this kit because let me show you there are tons and tons and tons of colors in here there's a wide variety I can do yellow green blue pink there's a lot so yes that is everything if you like this video please give it a thumbs up leave a comment and if you haven't already please subscribe thank you for watching have an awesome day bye